Hello, my beautiful spirits. Thank you for joining me here. Everybody's welcome. I'm so glad you came to visit. Thank you and welcome. We see in the pre-shuffle here that your person is in love with you straight up. When they think of you, they think of happily ever after. They think of you as their person. They think of you as someone that they have to fight for. They think of you as someone who's very nurturing, who's very kind, who's very loving. They also see you as someone who has your emotions under control, and they see you as this beautiful, fiery queen, sexy, just absolute raw power. But you are very, very much someone they respect. They do feel as though you have many people who compete for your attention. In terms of their heart space, we see the Wheel of Fortune and Libra. So we feel like your person is waiting for the right timing to take some sort of action to either balance out the relationship or to legally maybe get a marriage license because we have the Four of Wands. It's a marriage card. The Four of Wands is stability, building a foundation, buying a home, living together. But in this particular deck, it's always... Uh, the bride and groom, you know, under the garland. Here we have the Ten of Cups. So this is something they're not telling you either. Seven of Swords. This person may not have even told you that they love you, Sag. The Seven of Swords is like, oh no, I'm going to protect myself. I'm going to get what I want. But your person very much feels as though they need to come clean with you about something significant. This person may be one of those people who separates and doesn't divorce and years later they go oh oopsie now that i'm in love with somebody i need to get my divorce so it's it's kind of a cagey little bit of a reading here but we see that in their heart space they definitely want to tell you the truth at the right time and then try to explain why they didn't tell you sooner so because this is not going to make you happy you're going to feel uh, you know, sort of a little bit um, like they weren't really coming clean with you. So in terms of their intentions with you, they want to go to the next level. They want to level up with you. They're not quite sure if you want to with them. They're not sure if you're dating other people. The Six of Cups says that you may have had um, a little bit of time apart from one another. They definitely intend to fight for the relationship. Again, a lot of fighting energy for this relationship. We see the Heart of Wands, again, this very sexy Aries queen. So their action is to be very boss, to boss up, to take control, to fight for the relationship. And they're not really quite sure when they should do this, leveling up, we see the Wheel of Fortune. So those are, they're, they're not quite decided yet, intentionally, what exactly they're going to do. However, it looks as though we have the Seven of Swords and uh, the Ace of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Your person might have gotten left in the cold. You may have left them in the cold, quite literally, Sag, for some energy that you think was dishonest or made you put you into some sort of turmoil or trouble. Because we see that your person wants a new beginning with you, which means that there had to have been some sort of uh, period of time that you've been apart but I think that you really sad you guys tend to be pretty straightforward people you don't like people monking around with the truth you know you're the you're the most truth telling you like the truth the best of all of the zodiac signs when we look at their actions your person is obsessed with you devil energy they want to control they want to manipulate they want to win at any cost the Sun card, the reason that they want to win at any cost is they see you as their happy place. They're holding on for dear life. They feel as though you've given up on them, maybe. You know, it's very possible that you just simply gave up, you know, on the energy that they brought to the table or that you might. That's certainly something that they fear, but they're going to stick with it. Your person's going to come forward. They're going to you know, just state their truth. They're going to tell you what they want. We have the strength card, the infinity symbol. This person's love and affection for you is good for all of eternity, you know, infinity symbol. But they are tired of carrying this burden of trying to get in your good graces again. But you know what, Sag, if they aren't in your good graces, it's very clear to me why, why they've gotten 
to where they're at. Um, right now, you know, you may not be very interested in this person, but we see that this person wants to tidy things up. They want clarity in this relationship. Your person also feels as though the universe is their partner, is your partner. They feel as though the universe is going to help them out. Meditation and stillness, they are trying to manifest you through meditation. So let's look and see how you're feeling over here. Let's see what what you're feeling, Sad, because it looks as though you left this person in the cold. So we're going to clarify with a six-card Celtic spread this energy of five of coins, seven of swords, and the reason that they want this new beginning with you, this devil energy. Tell us about how Sag feels. What is Sag's response to some of this heavy-duty energy here? Okay, yep, you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You are not settling for less. The Five of Swords, you're not having it. You don't want anybody who is going to cheat you emotionally or from the truth or any other way. You are willing to revisit something, traveling backwards into the past. You are really willing to discuss something. You are very calm, cool, collected. You do care for this person, but you certainly do not like the way they operate and you don't trust them. The, you know, the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. So it does say that this person may either still be married or the two of you just simply really love each other. Take it as it resonates. It's a general. So let's see also what the, um, the short-term course of action is. That you're likely to take sag with this person ten of coins so you know if you're not married to someone else it certainly looks like you're really willing to dig in and to try to create um a relationship of value here so it looks like you like them but you're going to hold them to the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and you know you want you only want somebody of value if they can't bring that to the table you know, you really are willing to release them is what I'm seeing because we have this energy of in the hand, the universe is your partner. So you are letting spirit step in and help and help you decide whether this person's going to really fulfill your needs. So sending you love from Chicago, Sagittarius, it's been a joy. Thank you for stopping by. I hope to see you again in another video. Sending you love from Chicago, send some back and tell me where you're from. Thank you.